solve. x equals the square root of 3x plus 3 minus 1. To solve for x, we need to isolate this radical expression. So the first thing we'll do is add 1 to both sides. So we have x plus 1 equals the square root of 3x plus 3. Now, we square both sides. Put parentheses around the x plus 1 and square it, and then square the expression square root of 3x plus 3. On the left-hand side, we're going to expand this binomial squared. It becomes x squared plus 2x plus 1. And on the right-hand side, we have a square root squared, so we just get the radicand 3x plus 3. Since this is a quadratic equation, the x squared, we wish to subtract 3x and subtract 3 from both sides so that we have 0 on the right-hand side. That result would be x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. Factoring the left-hand side, x minus 2 times x plus 1 equals 0. Using the zero factor property, we would say x minus 2 equals 0 or x plus 1 equals 0. Simplifying each of or solving each of these individual equations, we add 2 to both sides, we get x equals 2. In this equation, we subtract 1 from each side, we get x equals negative 1. Now let's perform a check to make sure that both of these solutions work. So we have check first x equals 2. We substitute 2 into the original equation, and the original equation, remember, is x equals 3, x equals the square root of 3x plus 3 minus 1. So we would have 2 equals, question mark, the square root of 3 times 2 plus 3 minus 1. So that's 2 equals. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. So that's the square root of 9 minus 1. Well, the square root of 9 is 3. This is 3 minus 1. And 3 minus 1 definitely equals 2. Now we need to check x equals negative 1. So we substitute negative 1 in place of x. Does that equal the square root of 3 times negative 1 plus 3 minus 1? So negative 1 equals 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So this is the square root of 0 minus 1, which of course is equal to negative 1. And so it also checks both numbers work, so the solutions are negative 1 and 2.